Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Robothorium, episode 5 with the series here. We lost our Riot Bot last episode, which really sucks, but we're going to advance forward anyways. I'm really hoping we don't run into more enemies. Um, let's go this way. Okay, so we've got this. All right, access to the next sector is unlocked. Ah, it's all the way up there. Okay, but we probably want to finish exploring. Um, are my guys healing as I move? So he's got 192, so I want to see if he heals. So if I was to say jump here. No, so they don't heal. Maybe if I enter a new room, they do. No, they, they do not heal. So you're kind of screwed. You know, if you're not careful, so we can reformat this. It's only 60% chance. It's not a lot, but let's do it. Okay, we got some experience. All right. All right, a metabot. We can drain him, motivate him, or research him. I'm going to try to motivate him. Nice. Okay, so we got some reputation with everybody. That probably not going to pay off now but it might in the future so not bad let's definitely head off to the next area up here okay let's open the storage case okay ah Jesus okay this will be a tough fight This is going to be a tough fight. Let's go ahead and boost our line here. No particular guy we really want to go for. Maybe the security agent. Or the rifleman recruit. They're both pretty tough. Let's go for the... What, are, what have we got here? Basic shot assassination. Deals 80 damage to an enemy. Damage of the skill increased by 50%. The target is less than 30% structure. Neutralizing ammo. Basic shot. Deals 96 damage to an enemy. 50% chance to apply reduced power. That's not as big of a deal. I'm more concerned about that assassination. For sure. Nice, we got a stun in there, that's what I wanted, because he was next to go anyways. Okay, that's fine with me. We can do corrosion, we get the marked by target as well. So let's throw corrosion on this guy. And I kind of like that hail of bullets, right? Because it hits everybody, but let's see how good it is. It's pretty damn good. Just did a ton of damage to pretty much everybody in the room. Also, definitely overload you pretty quickly, so I wouldn't use it too much. Okay, we're going to try to kill this guy off, though. Ooh, he got enhanced regeneration. So that guy's his buffer there. So we might not kill this guy. Can be really close. Uh-oh. Okay, nice. So that guy, that turret got him. Let's give somebody else corrosion here. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for this guy. This guy. This guy I'm only thinking because we can kill him quicker. But let's go for this guy next. He definitely does the most damage. Okay, we don't want to do that. We're going to have to do this. Okay, so he's overloaded, luckily. We definitely needed that. We could increase shields here, which I think we're going to do. Without the riot bot, I can't really protect myself. This guy's their support role, so he's kind of the one we probably should be killing. But I could try to stun him, but we better just keep trying to take people out. Let's lower our overload a little bit, because I want to use this galvanization. Give me some marked target. There we go. Nice. Why don't we mark this guy next? 
I like the marked target with the corrosion. That's a lot better than just marked target and uh, whatever the other one is. I find it to be more better. I guess more better is not really a proper. <laughs> Let's go for this, right? Maybe. Not enough that'll overload them. See, that's pretty. That, that's forty percent. It's pretty tough. Okay. Just keep reducing then. All in all, our team's actually doing a great job with this one. So definitely take this guy out and be done with him. Oh, all right, you can't keep doing that. So we're just going to have to go for mark target. Let's shoot this guy. It'll bounce to him. Nice. And let's take the support guy out. I definitely don't like this guy, but he seems to overheat or overload at least twice during a battle for the most part, so. Resistance reduced by 50%. Let's get reduced resistance on this line back here. There we go. Nice. Perfect. That's what we want. Um, we're going to want to overheat this guy. See, overheat's useful for guys who primarily rely. This guy actually relies on... Wow, Cerebral Shock's really good. This guy relies on um, his energy there. You can see he overloads very, very quickly. So... And speed. This should overload this guy. Short circuit stun. Can't use skills generating overload. Or maybe not. Oh, he can't use any skills then, I don't think. So that's good to know. Okay, we can't do that, so we'll just have to do this. But it'll bounce and hit this guy. Yep, so he's overloaded now. Nice. Alright, let's just use basic shots here so we can reduce some of this. You can see some of these guys here getting pretty close to being overloaded. Nice. Nice. That's what I want. Perfect. That was really good. Very well executed. And the repair bot hit level 4, which is good. All right, ETA conductive helmet. We'll take a look at that. I think we should be able to put that on our guy. I don't think that he has a helmet on currently. He doesn't, so this will give him some bonus to his his health. No, his shield, and he gets a little bit of bonus to his crit. All right. And you, we found the Zeta soldering iron, but I think I like what you got now for the bonus to speed. Um, so we can upgrade you. What have we upgraded? We maxed out your improved stabilization, regenerates 20% of shield. Uh, is there anything we want to switch out? What are we not using? These are all pretty good. I use the shield stabilization a lot. The diagnosis gets used a lot. And we do use the... Thorio Focus, which is very powerful. Um, if we did get rid of it, we can increase. Let's see, enhance resistance. So resistance increased by 100%. Regenerates the shield of an ally by 112 and applies enhanced resistance. Bounces on one random ally. So that's pretty good. Quantum Bond. Shield regenerated by 20% of heals received by allies on the same line. Remo removes one random penalty from each robot of an ally line. These are This guy's got like some of the best things in the game. Let's go for the enhanced resistance, right? Let's make him just fully like a support instead of uh, having any negative modifiers. So, Plasmic Halo. Now, do we get any bonuses with that? Also has the 30 to 70% chance to apply one random bonus, so that's pretty useful. And we'll take that as well. 
Okay. All right. Nice. Let's keep moving forward. Oh, we're going to go this way. Oh, a dead end. It's the first time I think I've had that happen. All right. Ah, we found the exit. Or not. Oh, I select, believe it or not, I'm selecting the wrong button. There we go. All right, so we got victory here. Unlocked a bunch of stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and look at that. Equipment. So anything worth using. These weapons, this weapon in particular, is more strength uh, and gives you more crit chance. So let's swap that. Um, that's a better break tech rifle, more crit and more damage. So swap that. That gives you a lot more damage and less speed. You never really had a whole lot of speed anyway, so let's do this. Maybe we can get something that can upgrade speed. This upgrades health. This upgrades armor and regeneration. Um, this actually gives us more armor and more shield. So we could take either the health or the shield. And then we either get more crit chance or more armor. I think more shield and more armor. Make him more tanky, right? Um, neither of these are really. I kind of like the speed bonus. If anything, I take maybe the armor. How about this? Uh, more bonus, more speed, or more shield. Or I'm sorry, more armor, more speed, or more shield, and more crit chance. We're not really using him for shooting, so I'd rather just keep the armor and the speed. Um, this here, either more speed, which he's already super fast, more speed or more shield or more armor and more speed. Let's take the additional speed with the shield instead of the additional armor. Okay. Okay. Everybody is good. What's this? I didn't see this. A gadget. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We could get more. We could either get more regeneration, more armor, more health, and more regeneration or speed. I'm stick with that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with everybody here. Um, so let's head back to missions. Actually, head to the black market. Let's sell all this stuff because it's just going to get overwhelming if I don't. I know some of it's worth keeping, but I'll just sell it all because it's probably only worth keeping if I'm going to buy another robot, right? But what do we got? Nano stims and Epsilon scapular protections, but I don't know who actually uses those, right? Because some of these, it looks like the Riot Bot, because some of these aren't always used by the same ones. Speaking of Riot Bot, I do want to buy this guy back. He's got better structure, better power, so fatalistic. All right, let's definitely pick him up. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and repair all these guys. Um, so that's our team. I think you can only have, yeah, you can only have five. So let's put him up here and grab talents for him. Now, do I want, I'm glad that they kind of start out near the same level as your team. Uh, do I want to switch any of these out? I thought originally, I thought maybe provoking shout. Provoked has, an, uh, has to attack the enemy provoker only. Um, we could do stun. We got the cyper bulls, which is the, the reduced speed. We could swap that out for provoked if we wanted to. What if, how can we make provoked better? Um, so overload generates by the skill reduce, so reduced power. Power reduced by 35%. And then that can go down to like resounding shot, threatening aura, and reinforced titanium. So this could be useful. Um, let's definitely take 
I really like intervention, right? So let's definitely make sure we get those. And then, yeah, let's go for that. And we'll swap these out. Because like I said, we're going to make this guy tanky. So we'll swap this out for the provoking shout. Oh, and this guy does start with some gear. And he does have those pauldrons. So maybe I should have kept some of those items. And then sold them after. But we could get these. I don't know. I kind of got to go back and forth and see like how they're better, right? So... They are better. Um, what are they? They're cheap, so we got money. Let's buy them. Swap them. Nice. So now he's got a little bit more armor and a little bit more... Well, actually, they're not much better. It was either shield and speed or a little less speed with more health. Which I almost think I'd rather he has the shield. So these actually were not better. That sucks. All right. <laughs> that's, that's, they're not going to get hung up on it. All right. Everybody's set regardless. What do we got now? About the cyborgs, we probably should advance forward, right? These are level four enemies now. This is still a level three. The main reactor, so we saw that. Robots are reconditioned in this break tech lab. We should go there and save those for whom there might still be hope. Ooh, we could get a new robot, though, if we go here. Let's continue with the story, though. Let's jump to level three, and then we can manage level four when the time comes. So, hello, Saya. I'm Craig Hashin, the leader of Cyber Rights. Sarah told me a lot about you while you were in the factory with the Codger and the robot. Cyber Rights is the first faction in the world fighting for the recognition of cyborg rights. That's right, robots aren't the only ones being oppressed by Jack Love and Break Tech. Well, well, what's the hubbub? Ha, huh, Saya, so you're the famous artificial intelligence that Sarah found. Ooh, so we're going to have to know the choice to make, I think. Get out of here, Rafi. Saya and I are going to Break Tech Lab. Capture, captured cyborgs are being prepared for the reconditioning, and we, unfortunately for you, I think Saya needs to know the truth. Biothorium seriously needs smarts like hers. Interesting. So we're going to kind of progress with the story here and have to make a decision. Saya, do you know what a cyborg is? When a human being receives a mechanical proth uh, prothesis, the thorium, or prosthetic essentially, the thorium uh, which powers it seeps into their blood and they develop an extremely contagious cerebral pathology, contagious but curable. Break Tech is installing a chip in the brains of cyborgs which seems to contain the infection, but it actually transforms them into empty shells who Jacklov then recruits as soldiers. Oh. Shut down the power. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. Let's go up. Oh, I should have uh, changed my line. I can still do that. Um, this guy should be in the front so he can get bonuses from the uh, bot here. Because he's got the damage reduction bonus, which means we can stack it with this guy's damage reduction bonus and <laughs> make him pretty powerful. So that feels like a no-brainer. All right, let's keep going this way. And we're going to fight some enemies. All right. These riflemen are chipped cyborgs. Put them out of their misery. There's nothing left we can do for them. Ooh, a rifleman major. All right, let's let's weak spot this rifleman major for sure, and let's go ahead and buff this line. I'm fine with that. Ooh. These guys are going to be a pain as well because they do such, they do line damage, right? So we'll want to try and short circuit one of these. Or we can imply enhanced speed. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. We haven't done this yet. All right. This guy could do provoking shout or whatever. We could do shockwave, try to stun the guys in the back. Let's do that. Boy, I gotta upgrade that shockwave so we can get some better stunning action. Either way, we'll put corrosion on this guy and mark him. Hey, 
Hell of bullets will do some damage to everybody. That's a really good ability. But let's just do the rifle shot for now, I think. Or we could hit the whole line and reduce the resistance. Let's do that. So enhanced plasma hills, 35 chance to apply one random bonus, bounces on one random. Uh, resistance increased by 100%. So who would need the resistance increase? Probably ourselves. Nice. Perfect. And we got some bonuses there. Enhanced speed. So our, our guys are very heavily... We got a lot of really good bonuses. This is exactly what it should look like. Very happy with how this is looking. All right, let's... Let's uh, hit this guy. Has to attack the enemy provoker only. Reduced power. Let's keep hitting him. He's marked, so that should help us. These guys are tough, I will say that. They definitely give us a hard time. Alright, I can hit him, but we're better off just marking another target. Let's definitely take these guys out. They're a real pain. Alright, this would be beneficial probably to use. It's going to put us close though, so let's just... Let's not right now. Oh, he overheated. Crap. Okay, but he died to the corrosion. Yeah, it's these guys that keep overloading us that are that are really hurting us. The stalkers here, actually, I'm sorry, these guys are really hurting us. So let's try to do some damage on them too. See, that stalk there gives us overload. And then they do it again, so they're actually going to slowly cripple all of us if we don't do something. I mean, that weak spot's some tough crap too, but both these guys now can't move for one turn, so... Let's uh, try and stun this front line. Okay, we stunned one of them, so they actually got a lot of stunned guys now. It's good. So we'll put some corrosion. Now nah, we're going to shoot. Um, it'll bounce to this guy, so who do we want to hit? Perfect. All right, now we're going to use this. That is one hell of an ability, I will say. This guy's back online. These guys are going to come back online, but hopefully... Yep, nice. Corrosion got him. Alright, let's take this guy. Let's provoke, maybe. We could try that. Or we can put damage reflection on this guy. Because they want to, they seem to really want to hurt him. And throw corrosion onto, and we'll mark this guy. Okay, so this guy should die. He'll come online. I think he'll... Maybe he won't. I, I Actually, he didn't have corrosion, so he should be fine. All right. Nice. All right, we can't do any more corrosion, so let's clear. Let's get this guy taken out. <clears throat> now let's focus on this guy here in the front who keeps overloading us. And 
increase this guy's resistance or this lion's resistance. What kind of bonus do we get? Damage taken reduced by 30% as long as shield is above zero. Resistance increased. Reflects 30% of damage. So this guy is a powerhouse. Protector endures incoming attacks for their protected ally. All right. I just want to try that provoking and see how it does. It does reduce his power. I see. Put corrosion on this guy and mark him so we'll hit him next turn. That means we'll be able to kill him. Alright, so now this guy has to attack him. Which he takes it very well. Especially with all these um, reduced damage bonuses. And uh, should be able to we should be able to kill this guy. Yep, there we go. Nice, and we didn't really take hardly any damage. What a waste. See, Craig, this is where your stubbornness is leading the cyborgs. Ooh. All right. Nobody leveled up, but we did get some items, and I'm going to want to take a look at these. Did we get a top for this guy? No, but we got this. Lower speed, more regeneration. More regeneration and more speed, less armor, less crit. Uh, we don't really need more speed, but we'll take it, I guess. Then at least two of our guys could probably go first, right? All right, how about you? Nothing. We can give this guy the Omega shoulder plate. You don't have any, so this guy actually is a pretty good tank too. He's got a lot of shield though. But he's got a lot of health. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave it off here since we are out of time. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.